Hey everybody, it's John, your Gen X grandpa, and I'm going to be reviewing three items for you in this video. There are three items in a product line from Coca-Cola, and they are the Coca-Cola with coffee, which I am looking forward to reviewing. I saw them on the shelf the other day and thought I would pick them up and use them for video. Pretty inexpensive thing to review, and I don't have some company trying to boost their Amazon sales by contacting me and asking me to buy their product. So this is completely unsponsored. I pick these up. I purchase these myself. This is not a sponsored video. Now the Coca-Cola with coffee product line comes in three flavors, I guess you will. There's this one, which is the dark blend. There's a vanilla flavored one and vanilla Coke is really good. So I'm looking forward to trying this. And then there's this caramel flavored one, which is a little confusing to me because whenever you look at the ingredients for Coca-Cola, it does have caramel flavoring in it. So wouldn't that just be Coca-Cola with coffee? Anyway, uh, there's three of these. So I am going to be taking my time throughout the day to review these. And so you might notice a few changes in my clothing or in the appearance of the room. All right, so let's get started with the first one. Okay, we're trying the dark blend first. It smells like Coke. It, I don't, I don't smell any coffee aroma of any kind. Let's give it a taste. Okay. All right. So there's just a hint of coffee. It kind of, like I said, it doesn't really come through. Okay. Now I'm smelling it. Now it's coming through. Maybe if I had poured it in a glass, I'd smell it a little bit more, but yeah, the coffee does come through. Yeah, and it's actually very pleasant. I'll be honest, sometimes what I do is I might have some coffee left over in my mug and I'll pour some soda in it to drink. And then, so I've kind of tasted this before and it's, it's not bad. I like it. It's too sweet for me. I don't really drink fully sugared sodas anymore, but um, yeah, it's got a really good taste. All right, now let's try vanilla. go yep definitely vanilla the vanilla kind of comes in as as an aftertaste you get the coke coffee vanilla Yeah, definitely. Coke, coffee, vanilla is how the flavors come in. Just so you know, all of these have the same nutrition facts. Serving size is one can, 70 calories, 40 milligrams of sodium, 18 total carbs, 18 of which are from sugars. So, and there's, of course, zero protein. The serving size is 12 ounces or 355 milliliters. Hmm. So up next will be caramel. Caramel. Hmm. It's interesting that now that I know what the coffee scent is, I can smell it. So let's dig in with caramel. <coughs> Again, Coke, coffee, caramel. The caramel comes in last. I wonder if that's because I associate in my brain. I know what Coke tastes like. I know what coffee tastes like. This is Coca-Cola, so I'm expecting the Coke flavor 
So I wonder if my brain is just kind of doing that. Yeah, good stuff. So I'd recommend all of these flavors. They all taste great. You know, they have the Coke taste. They got a nice coffee taste. It's not overpowering. The only thing they might do differently is have a Coke Zero version of this so that there's no sugar. And in fact, I would even say they probably don't even need as much sugar in it. It could be a lot more subtle, I think, as far as sweetness is concerned. Flavors like vanilla and caramel are automatically associated in your brain as sweet. So I think they could have half the sugar in these or no sugar at all, and they would be just as fine. So I would say thumbs up on the Coca-Cola with coffee flavors. All three of them are wonderful, and I would recommend them. Hey, if you like this kind of content, you can always subscribe and, of course, give this video a thumbs up. I would always appreciate it. I'm John, your Gen X grandpa, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.